Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for a vlog. I thought I would just do a little spend the day with me. I mean, it is currently quarter past 11. So we're kind of starting this more or less halfway through the day, but it is Friday today and I actually have some really nice plans this evening. We are going out to celebrate Georgia's birthday early because she's gonna be in Egypt for her birthday. I'm not jealous at all. So we are heading to Haggle this evening to have some dinner and go for drinks after and stuff, which I'm really looking forward to. I just currently don't have an outfit. I have ordered something from ASOS, which should arrive today. So I'm kind of just hoping that I like that. I have ordered it in two sizes because I'm never sure on sizing from anywhere online, to be fair, not just ASOS. It's just like a little two piece set. I've been really loving colds at the minute. I just find them so easy, especially then because you get two separate pieces that you can wear with different things as well. But yeah, that is my plans for this evening. Today I need to, I need to try and convince myself to go for a run, but I really do not have high hopes, I won't lie. Um, <laughs> I really wanna get into running and I've said this so many times. I don't know what it is, I just, I feel like I'm not very good at running and when you're not good at something, it's really unenjoyable to be honest, like when you first start out. But I know the more I do it, the better I'll get and the more I'll hopefully enjoy it. So I have ordered myself some new running trainers because I also feel like that is a way to get yourself motivated. And I have always seen like everyone wearing the New Balance trainers, the ones that have like the super, super thick sole. And I really badly suffer with like shin stints. Um, again, I think it's just because I'm not used to running and my body needs to get a lot more used to it. So anything that I can kind of use to help that is great. They are like super, super bouncy. Like they literally feel like running on clouds. So I have ordered them. It's not a cheap hobby, I won't lie. Like they were 160 pounds, which is great. So I'm excited for those to arrive. I did get them on ASOS, but they are obviously like sold through New Balance. So they're not coming today. Obviously I will keep you guys posted when they are here and we can try and get into this running thing because everyone's making it look so easy. Like everyone's in their running era at the moment and I really want to be involved, but I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> I can't lie. Also, my skin is so, so dry from being on holiday, my shins are literally like, they look like fish skin, it's actually kind of rank. But anyway, I have just sat and curled my hair. I did actually film it for you guys because I always get questions on how I curl my hair like this. So I will insert that now. I do just use the Beauty Works X Molly May Curler. It is my favorite thing, I absolutely swear by it. I don't really have any secrets, but I did film the process. So I'll insert that here really quickly. I can't find the lead to my microphone, so I'm really sorry that the quality of this voiceover is literally a two out of 10. But you wanna start with just brushing your hair out. I literally just section it then into two sections, like literally just top and bottom. And then honestly, just grab random bits of hair. I go for like a medium amount of hair, I'd say not too much, not too little. And then obviously wrap the hair around the barrel going away from your face on each side. And once it is curled, let it drop into your hand and fully let the curl cool in your hand. Like it does take a little bit of time, but I honestly find that that is what holds my curls so well. So you will find that as you go around your head and curl the rest of it, they will literally look like ringlets to start with, but just leave them to fully cool before you then let them drop and also let them cool completely whilst you then curl the rest of your hair. That is literally like my only tip. That's the only thing that I feel like maybe I do differently to help my curls set, but I honestly have no other tips. Like that is literally it. I do put it down to the curler and then just letting the curls cool completely before I then go in and brush them out. But that is literally it. So I'll leave the curler link down below. Obviously I do recommend using some heat protectant as well, doing the trick where you hold onto them and let them completely cool. Hopefully you will see a difference if you start doing that. I was sent these yesterday, which I'm really intrigued to try because I've seen so many people use them. These are the mighty patches so as far as i'm aware they're to like put over spots or any like active breakouts you have um and i think they draw out all of the like bad stuff that's in there i'm not really sure but they are invisible ones so if you wanted to go out wearing these then you definitely could i have just really quickly popped a little bit of skincare on and i've been loving vitamin c at the minute because i feel like i really really need it in my routine um and it's something i always forget to put in my routine. So I've had this, which is the Sunday Riley CEO brightening serum. I've had this for a while. I think I got it for Christmas. It's just like a little baby size, but I think I'm gonna buy the full size because I am thoroughly enjoying this. It feels really, really nice on the skin and I do feel like it makes your skin super glowy. Like that is what I've literally just put on. And then when I was in London the other day, there will be a vlog up of that if you wanna go and see it. Me and Shan had a really cute like overnight stay in London. We went to an event, we went for dinner. It was super, super nice, but 
um, before the event I did pop into TK Maxx, had a bit of time to kill. So I picked up the Nip and Fab Vitamin C Brightening Pads. Again, loving these. I just think they're super easy to use, like anything in this kind of form where they're just pre-soaked pads. You can literally just wipe them over, pop it in the bin. Um, I do really enjoy products like this. So those two combined, I don't know if it's too much vitamin C. I don't do this every day, so I'm hoping it's not. But I know it can be quite an intense ingredient, so let me know if I should stop doing this. But then I do use my Walida Skin Food over the top. I'm also just going to pop this on, which is the Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrophila Concentrate. Basically a nice serum. Again, I got this for Christmas and it is 10.10. That is some skincare faves and a little hair tutorial to start this vlog. I think I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea because I live on tea at the minute. It is also such a nice day. I don't know if you guys can see. No, <laughs> there is literally blue skies out there, which is super, super nice. I haven't seen the sun for a little while since being back in England. So I'm glad it's out today, but I will just pick you guys up as and when. I am also going to tidy this house and film an updated house tour, which I think will be the next video after this. So if you want to see what we've done in the house, then keep an eye out for that because it will be completely different to when you guys last saw it. I mean, we are so nearly done here. Like the bathroom is the last thing that we have to do. I can't lie, living in a renovation this time has been testing to say the least. Like it is a whole nother ball game. But anyway, I will love and leave you for now. I am going to go and get dressed, film those videos, like I say, and I will catch up with you a little bit later. House tour is nearly filmed. I'm just waiting for this camera to charge. I didn't realize you could use it while it's on charge, which is kind of cool because I could film like sit down videos if it's not charged. Anyway, completely irrelevant to you guys, but <laughs> I have just had a notification to say that I have a shipment and I completely forgot that I ordered this. So I have basically overnight become obsessed with the Blank Street Bluebee matches. I think I had three in 24 hours. That I'm obsessed. I saw Emily Ball posted a TikTok and she basically ordered a blueberry syrup to add to her matches. And I mean, her reaction was priceless. Like my prize have been answered. She has found the formula to make these things at home. So I ordered them yesterday on Amazon Prime. So I've got some matcha arriving and the blueberry syrup. I got the same one that Em got. Cause like I say, she was just like blown away by what it tasted like. So I'm so excited now for this to arrive so we can try and make a blue room at home. But I'm gonna finish filming this house tour and then probably sit and edit for a bit. It is currently half 12 and I'm starving. So I think I might make some lunch. We have these simmer meals left, which I think I've spoken to you guys about before. They're basically like a meal prep company. It's literally two guys and their mum that own it, like super family run. Um, and the meals are 10 out of 10 every time. If you are like going to the gym and you want to get like more protein in your diet or if you just want to eat a little bit healthier, but make it super convenient, especially if you work in an office, if you've got a microwave at your office, then these are literally fab. You just need three minutes in the microwave and you've got your lunch. This is what they look like. Super, super yum. So I might have one of those for lunch, just to make it really quick and easy, but I'll leave these guys linked. They do very kindly send these to me. Um, but they never asked me to talk about it. I just talk about it because I love it. I've recommended it to so many people. I'm feeling like going back blonde. I mean, I say blonde, I was never like actually blonde, but I think I want my highlights back in my hair. I think it's just because summer's coming up. Like now I'm a little bit more tanned. I really prefer my hair with the highlights. So let me know your thoughts. I mean, I've literally been back brunette for months, not even a year yet, and I miss it. It just does kill your hair, doesn't it? Like the bleach is obviously not good for the hair. Do I stay brunette? Do I go darker? Or do I get the highlights back? I don't know. House tour is filmed and I just realized how dead these tulips are. I need to grab myself some more flowers. Is anybody else's boyfriend like horrendously bad at buying the flowers? Isn't it the easiest thing in the world? I always, whenever I go to the shop, I'll always just pick up some flowers and put them in the basket because I love having them in the house. And then Brad went to the shop the other day and he came back with a bunch of flowers and I was like, that is so sweet, like, thank you so much. And then he was like, yeah, they're not for you. I was like, brilliant. <laughs> but bless him, he'd bought them for our neighbour who had been going for a hard time. So we popped them over to her, but I was like, see how easy it is? Like, you could just put them in your basket. To be fair, I like getting them for myself because then I get exactly what I want. And tulips is some of my faves, so I'm gonna get some more for that. Um, but yeah, I've just 
finished filming the house tour like i say so glad that you guys now know what the house looks like i feel like i've literally not been posting anywhere because i'm like well i haven't shown youtube yet like, i haven't shown youtube the kitchen i haven't shown you the bedrooms finished so now i can just talk about it freely and we are all up to date with that guys i caved i ordered a delivery for lunch because we have this place called avo near us and 10 out of freaking 10 the burritos are incredible so I had to get a burrito well, I didn't have to. Like I showed you guys, I have the cinnamon meals, but they're just so good. Like I was really, really craving it. And you know, when you just have those cravings where you're like, it's not gonna go away unless I literally get that. So I've done that. <laughs> Chips, guac. Oh my God, this is literally heavy. This actually looks incredible there. The lid doesn't even fit on. <gasps> wow. It's literally got like crushed tortillas on it as well. Let's try it. The chip and dip first. I say try, I've literally had this so many times, but so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Mexican food is one of my favorites. I feel like Thai food is definitely my top favorite, but Mexican food is so close i'm sat on the floor but i've got my laptop here and i'm catching up on megan short's vlog so i'm gonna sit eat my burrito bowl live my literal best life because i'm so happy with this and catch up on megan's vlogs mm. my order is always the same i usually get an actual burrito though but i didn't really fancy the wrap today and they are a little bit messier to eat so i've got a burrito bowl with Regular cheese, extra guac, extra pico is it? Pico? Which is like the chopped tomatoes and onions and pork. And it's the best. Food literally makes me so happy. Like I don't think it's actually normal. <laughs> right, this is gonna be me. So I'll see you once I've demolished my lunch. I don't know how I'm gonna get through all this. So there's a lot of chips in there, but 10 freaking 10. Guys, I'm freaking out. The package is here. I'm so excited to try and make a matcha, but I am gonna make you wait because I have had some other bits of post that I wanted to show you. So I have a box here from Charles Worthington and I used this brand so long ago. I believe it's hair care and I remember absolutely loving their products. So this is very exciting. There's a vent in this kitchen and I honestly don't know where it is. I feel like it's like in the cupboard. Even though it's not, I think it's on the outside of the wall and it's really windy, so if you can hear that knocking, it's annoying me too. Ooh! Hello there, please find enclosed your Charles Wellington top ups. We hope you enjoy. Best wishes, capsule. Oh. Yes, this is the brand I used. <gasps> Unreal. So we have a scalp tonic to stimulate hair growth for lasting results in just four weeks. And then we have the activating shampoo and conditioner to achieve longer, stronger hair and reduce breakage by 90%. Needed. Let me smell these. Oh my God, smells like a dream. Love. Thank you to the guys that sent that over. And then I have already unboxed this because I was way too excited, but the Gifted Sisters, you guys absolutely would have heard of them on Instagram. They are the cutest brand. They always have like, the cutest little homeware bits, little fashion bits. They've kind of got a bit of everything. I had a bikini from them that I wore in Barbados and they had like cute little strawberries on it. Like just very cute things. And I've been eyeing up this beach bag for ages. But they very kind of sent it over. How cute. It's honestly such nice quality as well. Like it's super flimsy. It is literally that like typical kind of straw bag, but it feels really, really nice. So I love this. And I mean, the print on the front is gorge. Love it. This is coming in my suitcase when I next go away. But that is a couple of exciting bits. Onto this. I really, really, really hope I can pull this off because the fact that we have no blank streets here and it takes Norwich like 20 million years to catch up to anything like that. I think this is my only option. Okay, so I picked up some matcha. This is the OMG tea grade AA organic matcha. I'm not a matcha like professional like i have no idea what the grades mean i don't really know what a good matcha is but i literally read reviews on amazon because i wanted this next day then i picked up the syrup this is the one m used and i didn't they had a couple on there but i didn't really want to like use anything that i hadn't been recommended so i did go for the same one but the color of this is kind of freaking me out 
like when she made hers it was bright blue like absolutely luminous so i am intrigued but i mean the girl said it was good so who goes nothing i guess cool that is a brain licker oh my god it literally that is so artificial it's unbelievable okay i'm gonna use a tiny amount of that i think and then also look how cute this is has like a little wrinkle. I do have these very cute little glasses though. Brad's mum very kindly got me these for Christmas and they are from Amazon. That's where we'll leave them linked. I am just gonna make a small one because obviously I don't know if I'm gonna like this yet. I'm gonna use two glasses and I think I'm gonna put the milk in here with the syrup and make like a blueberry kind of milkshake and then pour the matcha on top, I think. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing, but let's see how this goes. I mean, it does smell nice. Like it does smell like the Blank Street Blueberry. Right, I'm gonna pop some ice in. Also, the matcha, like the smell of it does just really put me off because it just, it smells like earth. Like it literally smells like grass. I did see Sophia and Chintia say this and they are so right. If you can drink matcha, like just that with milk, then you actually like matcha. I am a fake fan. <laughs> if you're having to put like five pumps of caramel or vanilla in your matcha lattes, then I'm really sorry, but you don't like matcha. <laughs> okay, moment of truth, right? We've got the blueberry syrup in just regular milk with a shed load of ice, and then I have whisked this up, so I'm hoping it's all mixed like thoroughly. I'm literally just gonna pour this in here. I mean, it looks fun, but the color combination is really freaking me out. How do they make it purple in Blank Street? Because that looks way more appetizing than this. Okay, maybe when we mix it, is it gonna go gray like the other one does? No. I'm really scared that the match is gonna be super strong in this, because that has stayed very green. Oh my God, why am I so scared to try this? I just remember the last time I tried matcha like at home, I literally hated it, like I actually wanted to be sick. So I'm kind of scared that this is going to be the same. Okay. Oh my god. That is a blank street blueberry matcha latte. What? What the hell? Do you know what? It actually needs a little bit more blueberry. I mean, for me personally, like some people, if you like it, it tastes more like matcha, then you'd probably like it. But I think I do love the sweetness of it. Oh my god, I can have these at home. Emily Ball, you are an actual angel. Like how, I know I'm going insane, but like obviously they are the ingredients of the Blank Street ones, but I swear on my life, this literally tastes like a Blank Street blueberry matcha. Wow. I actually think I probably could have made the matcha a bit stronger. I did less, it says to do half a heaped teaspoon and I definitely did like less than a level half a teaspoon. Mm. 10 freaking 10. It's just the color, like we don't need to be that blue. Nothing should be that blue. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> there is a, um, is it Monin? Like the usual caramel syrups. I've got the caramel gingerbread, all the other syrups from that like typical brand, the ones you'd see in coffee shops and stuff. They do have them on Amazon and they did have a blueberry one. And I was kind of tempted to get that, but I just wanted to kind of go with something that I knew somebody else had tried. But I do feel like that might taste a little, or like at least look a little less artificial. I wonder if that is the syrup that Blank Street use. I'm not sure. But this is lush. It definitely needs, like I need to make it stronger next time. A little bit more blueberry syrup and more matcha for sure. I'm so happy with this. I'm back in the lounge. I'm sat editing with my blueberry matcha latte. Loving life i really can't wait to make another one because i feel like i know what i do differently my asos package has arrived i was getting a little bit nervous because it was getting later and later and it was not arriving but she's here I'm slightly confused because this is not the same color as what i've seen online i mean i'm hoping it's still going to be cute but 
it's just a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. It's kind of like a typical like taupe mushroom kind of colour. But this is what it looks like online. I sent it to Amelia because she needed our blend spray. And this is what I was kind of hoping for. And it's quite dark. Right, I'm going to try this on. I have an hour to get ready. I don't know where today has gone. But Amelia is going to come and pick me up. And we're going to head to Georgia's, have a drink. And then we've all got a minibus into town for dinner. So I need to get a move on. At least my hair is already done. She just needs to do my makeup and potentially find another outfit if I don't love this. But I think I'm just going to hope for the best. Hmm, this is how the outfit is looking. I did just try on the medium waistcoat and I do think it fits better because it is just a little bit tighter than this one. But I've kept the large on for now because I just don't think I love the skirt at all. I think I'm gonna prefer this with jeans because I actually do like the waistcoat. Again, I think I might switch back to the medium, but I do actually love the color of this now it's on um, and the fit and everything. Like it's very, very comfortable. So I'm gonna chuck on some jeans because I feel like it will be a little bit more me and we can see how I feel. I just, the skirt is just not doing anything. Way better. Once I've done my makeup and everything, I will pop some heels on. I'm gonna try the medium size back on again with these jeans and we'll go from there. But these are just some low rise jeans from Zara and they are 1010, literally my perfect jeans that I own. So this is gonna be my outfit. And then for shoes, I've just got on these little black pretty little thing heels. I'm ready, I have just finished my usual basic face and makeup. Um, I've also found these earrings that I haven't worn in the longest time. I think I got these from, I wanna say TikTok shop actually. I have gone for the larger size in the waistcoat, which on camera I feel like doesn't look that flattering, but in the mirror it looks a little bit better than the medium. I feel like the medium is just a bit too fitted. I'm also gonna be spraying my hair with this, which is the best stuff ever. I haven't raved about this in a while, but the Gizzo Hair Perfume, or Gizzo, however you wanna say it, it smells incred. I'm gonna take this little bag, which is from Pretty Little Thing, to match my shoes. That is me done. I think I have 10 minutes until Amelia's here, so. I'm proud of myself. Oh, no, three minutes. Hello, guys. It is the next day. We went out last night for George's birthday, and Brad and Matt had a little night out themselves, and then came and picked us up at half two in the morning. So, thanks. We just ended up, I don't even know where, like, we literally were going from bar to bar. We ended up in a karaoke bar. It's actually our favourite place on a Friday. If you're from Norwich, what used to be Stadia now does karaoke on Fridays. And I mean, you literally have to sing in front of everyone, but by that point, <laughs> we literally didn't care. Like, it's not one of those places where you can go and you have like a little room. Oh, really? You've literally got to sing in front of everyone. I would literally hate that. I love it. But we got up pretty late this morning, what I did. Um, but it's literally such a nice day. Like, the sun is out, it's 12 degrees. We just popped to Asda this morning to grab a couple of bits. And I needed to do a return, but we have come home and we made some burgers for lunch. The old burger? Yeah, they're veggie burgers. I didn't realise when I chose them, but they actually look on rail. They smell good as well. This is what we're currently working with. We've also got cheesy truffle fries. Oh, some onions here, isn't it? Oh, and some onions. We've got a treat on Saturday. We are heading to my brother's for dinner this evening with all my family, which would be super nice as well. But I thought I'd just pick the camera back up today because we are going to be starting on the bathroom. I don't know, I spoke to you guys about that in the house tour. Yeah, so I thought I'd just bring you along because we're essentially going to try and knock the wall down. We're going to have to move in with my mum and dad for a bit, literally just for a few days when the work actually starts. But we're just going to try and do everything that we can for now without taking the necessities out because we need a toilet. We still need a toilet. And a shower. But yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to make a banana bread because I bought these because all of the bananas in Asda were literally like, they were green. And I know if you make banana bread with ripe bananas, they're really bitter. So I saw these in like a, like this guy just had them in a tray. I think he was literally gonna take them to put them in the bin. And I was like, can I buy those bananas? And he was like, I guess so. So I've bought these and I'm hoping they are ripe enough to make a banana bread. They do feel a bit squishy. So I'm gonna make that. I also bought this little loaf tin. There is a Stacey Solomon collection in Asda at the minute. Everything was so cute. I got dragged away from it very quickly. So I didn't get to have a proper look, but she's got like vases, pillows, like literally everything. And it's all proper like, I wanna say like cottage core, like that kind of vibe. But I grabbed this little loaf tin because I wanted it for my banana bread. I've popped some like dollops of Nutella in the freezer so I can put them in the mixture and hopefully they won't like just sink to the bottom. But we are just gonna have some lunch, probably watch another episode of The Crown. 
We are so late to the party. Like people will literally speak about series for months and we'll watch it like the next year. But I quite enjoy it like that because then we've literally got like the whole series to watch. Binge watch it. Yeah. I really want to get into Celebrity Big Brother, but I just can't. I don't know why. I feel like I've not got the time at the minute to watch it as well. And when something like that is on every night, if you miss one episode, that's it. It's like Love Island, isn't it? It's like, it takes so long to catch up on. Agreed, but we do manage it every time. We have a little chopped salad as well. Big lunch. It is a big lunch. We're not eating until a lot later though, so. Right. Okay. Do you want to do a taste test of your burger? Oh god, go for it, babe. <laughs> Thoughts and feelings? It's more, more tasteful. Yeah, there's always more flavour in things like that. And in the burger. This is the first time we've seen Brad since he's back at work. I've got that oh, yeah. good. Just getting back into the swing of things, I guess, more so. Mm -hmm. You've gone back to the same Industry. company. Yeah. So it's not like you're picking everything up from scratch. No, no, not at all. How grateful I was for everyone kind of being receptive towards me being back. Hmm. Get back into some routine. Right. Some like that. Let's eat our own lunch. <laughs> frame out so that we can get to this part of the wall because this wall is like a stud. It's really strange because it's this straw and that. Oh my god, that's like... That's insulation. That's that actual I, straw? Straw, yeah. That's a fire hazard that is, if it's, it's exposed. Rubbish, We've got to take that out and that's the divider to the what will be the walk-in shower for us. So as we walk in, there'll be a new door frame here. A little bit further out, maybe a foot further out. And then we walk into then our toilet, tall unit and sink, and then around the corner where the existing toilet is will be our walk-in shower. cheesecake fruit we've got loads of stuff to take over um but we are gonna head off so i thought i would just run this vlog up here to... show them what we've done oh yeah i'm only not for a wall don't want nothing to <laughs> Brian has also finished for now upstairs so the wall is out i'm gonna let him take you upstairs and talk you through what he's done talk you through what he's done does that make sense because i've been down here baking while he's been making loads of noise upstairs so i'd like to take a stand right i've got really flat hair <laughs> Is it filming? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. There's a red dot. Is there? Is there a red oh, yeah, I think so. God, I'm spotty. Okay, 
Um, there's not many lights I can put on, but here we are. A big door frame that has been taken out, thankfully. Um, it's quite easy, to be honest, because there's going to be a new door being put in here. Um, probably get in another foot of space, which is good. Um, but yeah, really, really easy to get out. And then this is where the walk-in shower will be. It's actually not a bad space, is it? No, it's not too bad at all. Because I also think when you're in the shower, you'll probably face sideways anyway. Most people do anyway. Yeah. So we've got to do a bit of patching up to do tomorrow. Probably put some plasterboard up in these spaces here so that you can get all that plastered. And then I've got to chop some more of this wall out. So this, this section's got to come out. I've already drawn the line for where we've got to chop the wall. Um, but that's currently the back of our toilet, currently being held on by a pipe and an outlet, uh, an overflow outlet. So for the meantime, that's the progress we've made. We are looking to obviously block this door up, as I mentioned before. So that's going to be done tomorrow. So all of this has got to be taken out, um, all the glass and stuff. And then we're going to pass the board over the front of it and then pass the board the other side and tile. Like Em said, We've got some more work to do tomorrow, but um, we're going to round the vlog up here. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Brad, for the house updates. You're very welcome. Um, we are now going to go and eat lots of yummy food. Mum and Dad are in charge of drinks, so we're going to meet everyone there. Um, and I will speak to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.